Okay, um, in this video we're going to look at um, x-raying the hip on a patient um, for a trauma referral. Okay, so many, many patients will come um, to the x-ray department having fallen um, with a query fracture of their hip on a trolley. Here we go. So um, this is a, a road traffic collision, frontal collision, right mid-shaft thigh deformity, query femur, query hip, query pelvis. So this is somebody who's got a serious injury. Um, but we're going to x-ray this patient to look at the way we would x-ray the lateral hip. So we're going to make this selection. Patient is obviously recumbent and we're going to stay recumbent, we're not moving them. And we're going to do a, a lateral half axial with horizontal beam. Okay, this is also known as a Darnalius Miller or a modified Lorenz projection. Um, most people in the UK would call this a lateral shoot through. Um, the important point here is the x-ray beam is a horizontal beam, the patient doesn't move much and we try and get a really good um, position of the acetabulum, the ischium, pelvic ischium, the head of humerus, the neck of humerus, and the greater and lesser trochanter. We try and get all of those in. Okay, so let's uh, bring our patient into the x-ray room and set up. So what I'm going to do beforehand is I'm going to go to the scenario test stand. So we're going to move the x-ray tube so it's now horizontal beam. So the x-ray beam is going to go parallel to the floor. Um, so we'll move that down and out of the way there. We're going to use this space here in the x-ray room to maneuver our trolley. And we're going to pick a 2430 with a grid receptor. And we'll drop that onto the vertical bucky so that it's vertical and um, correctly positioned, ready to be put onto our patient's trolley. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the patient into the room. So the patient will arrive on a movable trolley or a stretcher. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this space here to maneuver the reset, um, stretcher. And um, I'll just uh, we'll get, the, um, get the textbook up so that you can see what we're trying to achieve. OK, so this is the textbook description of the um, um, trauma projection that we're trying to achieve. So with the affected limb is remains um, on the tabletop and the light beam diaphragm here of the x-ray tube is aimed at an angle through um, the femoral neck and it's projected onto the receptor here. The Unaffected limb is lifted clear so that we can x-ray, um, so it's not in the x-ray beam. Um, this is showing you here the in diagrammatic form. So this is what we're trying to achieve. So to um, get our patient into the right position, then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the x-ray tube, um, sorry, the, the receptor, we're going to turn the trolley, the gurney round. Um, we're going to move our x-ray machine into position. And at the last minute, we're going to raise the patient's leg because it's, um, we don't want that to be um, a position the patient has to be in for very long. So we're just moving everything um, reasonably close while we can. And then I'm going to move the receptor to the position. I'm going to put the yellow edge approximately. I'm going to need to um, position everything and look at it from different angles because it's quite a complex position to put the patient in. So we want the receptor close up to the um, um, iliac crest. And we're imagining the line of the neck of femur here. And we want this to be um, pretty much in line with the neck of femur. So the neck of femur is going to go from here to the greater trochanter and then down. So I think we've probably got this slightly over rotated, so we'll under we'll rotate it a little bit less. That's good. 
And then we also got to imagine the height of the femur and that, that position's in the middle of the receptor. Now it's always a good idea to just raise the affected side slightly and um, sort of just raise that a little bit. Okay, so we're quite good. That's quite nice. Um, now what we need to do is position the um, X-ray beam so that it aims at the receptor. Again, we can judge that from its height by looking over in this angle. So everything has been done before we've raised the patient's leg. Um, now we'll put a marker on. It needs to be in the top right hand corner. That's better. Just open the collimation a little bit more, a little bit more, and then we can raise the patient's leg by clicking on the hand. Okay, so now we just need to do some fine tuning. So I think we're aiming a little bit too low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the x ray tube a little bit higher. So that's right into the groin. And we're going to move the receptor a little bit higher. And I'm going to collimate because we've got a bit too much collimation going on here, a bit too much area irradiated. So just collimate tightly. So you have to be really brave with your collimation. And I think we're maybe aiming a little low, so I'm just going to raise the tube up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to give that a go. So these are the exposure factors that it suggests. I'm going to leave them at that and expose this. Quite a nice looking lateral hip there. So we've got the acetabulum here. This is the ischium. This is the head of femur. This is the neck of femur. It's the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter and the shaft. So that's quite a nice positional um, projection. So we can tell whether or not the head is in the acetabulum. In this case it is. We can tell whether we've got an ischial fracture. In this case we haven't. Trochanter fracture, we haven't, and a neck of femur fracture, we haven't. So that's a very good survey.